Rob, does that feel like points dropped or points gained? I'm not sure. Um, <coughs> at half time, probably feels like from half time to now, it probably feels like points gained um, going into the win with, with, with the seven point lead. Um, but then, you know, you look at the last two minutes of the game with a couple of dominant scrums and that pressure we got on the line, and you probably feel that we missed an opportunity there to ram in a win. So, I there's a couple of emotions. I mean, my big one is did we really grab the game by the scruff of the neck in the first kind of 25, 30 minutes? Probably not. Has that ultimately cost us potentially? Um, did we pin together a very good second half of rugby? Um, I think we did. You know, the, re the reality is, you know, we made, we made mistakes for that second half, but actually, to into that kind of those kind of conditions, to, to do what we did and come through the second half as well as we did, it probably shows as good a test of character and as good a half of Heineken rugby as we probably played against good opposition. You know, against good opposition who were genuinely there to win the game. Um, and I think that's something we've got to talk about, just trying to move forward. You know, we're going to have we're going to have work on. So there's going to be individual things. Um, but on the whole, you know, we just still had to go out and find three, maybe four more wins out of this pool, and that situation hasn't changed. And that's what we've got to that's what we've got to get ready for now. We've got to get, we've got to get move on from this. Two points gained. There's a lot of teams aren't going to get two points this weekend. We have. We've got to progress now and go get some more next week. First half, what did you feel Munster did to sort of take away? They probably just got their intensity up. And, and, it's, and it is always the battle. They probably just got their intensity up a little bit ahead of ours, which made them that they control some field position and, and possession quite well in the first half. You know, against the win, probably better than we did. We certainly didn't capitalise as much as we should have done with that much wind behind us. Um, you know, to think we already had a shot at goal and, and we created one real try scoring opportunity. You know, some of that wasn't pinned, was pinned together because our, our lineup, you know, uh, malfunctioned a few times. But it was tough in the wind. It was tough for Munster as well. Um, but I think overall, you know, our attitude to get off the line, our attitude to try and break up attacks was very good. Did we get our the continuity in the game we won? No. But was that because of Munster's good defence and Munster's good pressure to break down? It was that as well. You know, you've got to make sure we credit both teams for, for what effectively was a was a very hard fought draw out there. How did you find the refereeing of the breakdown? There was a lot of talk at the start of the season about trying to bring the premiership into line with hmm. Europe and it's a little bit difficult because I, again, I, don't, I, don't, I really don't like uh, making reference to individual decisions until you see them in real detail and you have the time to break them down. I wasn't too too concerned about it. I thought if we, it looked to me, if we weren't really strong enough in our clear out, then we paid the price sometimes. If we were strong in our clear out, we kept the ball. And I think it was the same for months. So we won a few turn out, turnovers. When they were strong in the clear out, they kept possession. I, I don't think, to me, it was an issue. <clears throat> if we didn't adapt, as quickly as we needed to through the game, that's our issue, not, not the referees. Was it your choice? Um, well, it would be an incredible occasion for us if it did. You know, if it was winner takes all at Thomond Park, it would be an amazing day. I would hope. I would hope maybe it doesn't. Maybe nice that we're just both through by the time we get there. That would be my. That would be my preference. If I'm asking you, but the reality is we've got to go and find some more wins. Even if we, even if we won today, we'd have to go and find at least three more wins out of this pool. And we still would go hunting wins, and so nothing has, has massively changed for us. Um, but we've got our we've got our feet wet now in this pool, and we're up and running. And I think this is only the second time we haven't lost our first pool game. I'm not I'm not home so sure. I think last year was the first time we we banged in a win early doors. So we're actually ahead of the curve to where we are most years. We're ahead of the curve to where we are when we qualified. So um, at the moment, there's still an awful lot for us to play for. Would you prefer to play against the wind in the first time? Yeah, I think the toss played it. The toss played a huge part in it because most big games, 15, 20 minutes gets burned up in the hurly burly of teams chucking themselves at each other. But you know, I, I, that's why I think it's one of the situations we actually dealt with quite well today. We dealt well. We dealt, dealt quite well with having very little of the game really much happening in that first 15, um, and we did very well to force the try at the end of the first half, and that, that gave us a foothold in the game. And, a lot of what we did in the second half was very good. You, know, you, you can always break it down and go, did the odd decision hurt us? Well, of course it did, because every odd mistake can sometimes lose you half a, half a, half a field length. You know, like a, the kick that went out of the full, it was all the way back to the 22, and then when more boom, and that led to their try. But it, it's a bit harsh to say it was one individual error, because 80 minutes is built up with lots of those decisions, lots of those moments, and some of them move you up the field, and some of them move you back. And uh, we just maybe had one too many of them moved us back today. Didn't arrive here as a number eight, but seems to be doing a very good job of it. I mean, the reality is, I mean, the, the, the shirt numbers thing is all a bit of a fallacy with everybody, isn't it? I mean, all it means is he packs down a number eight in a scrum, he doesn't do anything else as a number eight, he just runs around like a back row forward. They all do. I mean, it's one of those things, isn't it? It's, I think we get carried away. I mean, we could stick a number seven on his back and he, we could, he could scrummage at eight, and that's the only thing he does. 
You know, there's, and there'll be times when he moves across the back row. You know, he's he's here as a back row forward. You know, he's having he's having good contributions for us. He's playing very regularly. He's getting a lot of minutes. Um, and, and like I said, you know, we, we've we've done okay today. We've done we've done a little bit below par. Obviously, Munster are, Munster are kind of on the front foot because they've come away and got the draw. Uh, and got those got some points away from home, but there's still an awful lot for us to fight for. Still a lot of positives in this pool for us. It's a strange one. What was your take on the Gareth Stinson's conversion? Charles? I haven't seen it enough, and I haven't heard the referee's interpretation to really know what happened. I'm assuming he's saying that he was committed and he'd taken off, and that he didn't see any foul. So I'm not going to say any different to that until I see any, any more detail. I, it, it didn't look like a massive issue to me. I think I think we've got to be a bit careful. I think the, the game is so 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 trying to hunt moments of impact all the time isn't it? We, we've got to kind of just ease off a little bit we're trying to find we're trying to find um, vicious collisions in every moment on a rugby field and then some of them are just rugby things they just happen and we've got to be we've got to be prepared to just take some of them on the chin and some of them will go against you and some of them will go for you head knock in, on your own line um, yeah so Dave Ewers should be should hopefully you know he came back on so he's passed his HIA so there's no reason why we should expect too much and you know obviously we'll have to we'll have to keep monitoring him through the early part of the week um, Sam Simmons didn't uh, Sam Skinner sorry didn't come back on so we'll just have to see how he is you know day by day so he's tonight so he's tomorrow so he turns on Monday and we'll see um, see whether he can push his way through it and it seemed like there weren't any other injuries that... well um, we brought Dave Dennis off yeah. uh, quite early with a, you know, an ankle he kind of went over on his ankle but again until we get a couple of days into the assessment it's going to be hard to work out where that is Okay, thank you guys. Thank you. Thank you.